I was just saying to Leslie Nielsen that I've been a fan of his for so many years, going back to, gee, I guess 49, 50. 1949, that's right. Yes, 1949. and you reacted like you were sort of surprised to hear somebody say that they well, followed your career all that time. It, yes, it, because, it, it, you know, as an actor, you uh, you start work, you have your dreams in the very beginning, or you, know, you hope that somebody's going to come along and see you do a marvelous show, or no matter what it is, and say, my, there's somebody, that's where we have to get him. You'll skyrocket to whatever it is. And then eventually you reach a point where you say, well, that's not going to happen. So you devote all your time to your work, and you get involved in your work. And what you do is you endure. You're just there. You're doing your job, and people are saying, fine, your friends are telling you, good work, but nobody is talking that much. And you're just around long enough, and the work piles up and piles up, and finally, as I say, I sit down, and somebody like you says, hey, I've seen your work, and you feel that you've gotten up to the straw on the camel, and finally, all of that effort uh, is sort of beginning to bear fruition. And it's really delightful. It's so pleasant to hear it. Can I tell you also that I'm the kind, I go through the TV guide, and if I see Leslie Nielsen's name in anything, I'm going to watch it. That's how big a fan I am. Well, you know, I have done uh, in the past, uh, I believe in work. And I was on a contract to Universal for a while. And I did some shows because when you're on a contract, you enter something in good faith, so you go ahead and you do your job. But some of those shows have been pretty bad. So when you <laughs> Maybe say, they've been bad, no, but you haven't been Well, bad. <laughs> that's very kind of you. But when you say a thing like that, uh, you know, I say, oh, uh, Leslie, you better be careful then. <laughs> what you're doing in the future, and you better make sure that anybody who says that to me, when I read a script, I'd like to say, well, I'd love to do this. I'd even like to do the part. But, you know, if people expect when they see my name to see something good, then I better be really careful and not be in any bad stuff. I must tell you that I am really eager to see The Bold Ones. And tell me about your role in that series. Well, I'm playing uh, Deputy Chief Danford, which really means that I'm not the chief. I answer to the chief of police, and I've been brought in from the outside, from Cleveland, because of special abilities to head a department that will be devoting its attentions to the rather complex and bewildering problems that hit any city today, and this, in this case, is the smaller city of San Sebastian, uh, more specially equipped to handle these complex times. And in the course of my functioning, I work with a man, Harry Rhodes. He's a black district attorney. Now, uh, in our relationship, there will be an underlying respect, naturally, for any man who does his job well. But I think there will be the sidelong glances between us where you have a black man and a white man getting to know each other, where they get to know each other's prejudices, where they get to know their own prejudices. It won't be in the writing and the script. Uh, there will be conflict and there will be affection and warmth. And I think it'll be very interesting to see this kind of thing. I think that's really the star of our series, the relationship between Harry and myself. And it's, um, it's a uh, work of pleasure for me at the moment to see how that's going to turn out. What was it that was especially exciting to you, Leslie Nielsen, to do this series? When I first started doing, I did the pilot in the show, and I didn't think it could sell. I really didn't expect it to sell. And that suited me because I, uh, I didn't particularly wish to do another series. Then I got working with Harry up in Stockton, and we had scenes to do in Deadlock. And I came back and I told my wife, I said, you know, I don't know which of us is Spencer Tracy and which of us is Catherine Hepburn, but Harry and I played some awfully good scenes there, and I think we may have sold the show. And what was exciting to me was the exchange between Harry and myself. Uh, it's this funny thing that sometimes things can happen between people. It's an old show business formula, you know, you put two people, no, normally it's a man and a woman, huh? but in our case it's Harry and myself. And uh, I just think that the, what is it? The electricity or the vibrations or whatever. The charisma, and maybe. The charisma, maybe, but, and it's from Harry and, my, and myself. It's part of the black and part of the white, part of the way we work together as actors. It's just part of the way we behave as men, so to speak. But there's nothing I can put my finger on, but something happened, and that was exciting. And that's what I hope we'll show in the series as we're going along.
Well, we'll be looking forward to seeing you in The Bold Ones, our guest, Leslie Nielsen.